It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Welcome, everybody. Excited to have you in the house with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It is the NBA playoffs. We've been waiting a long time for yes, this. Yes, we have. Yes. Yes. We'll watch the Brooklyn Nets in this one as they go up against the Miami Heat. Looking at Miami, one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference over the regular season, they know it's what they do now that will truly define their season. Game one of this series coming up. A lot of playoff experience here at this table. Shaq, what do you think is the most important thing to establish in the first game of a series? Well, not literally, because I don't want anybody to get suspended, but you got to come out swinging, Ernie. You got to capture the, the, the momentum right now, and you got to come out the gate strong, feisty as always. But again, you got to come out swinging. Ernie, whoosh, whoosh. it is That's definitely. That's the sound I want to hear. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, but if you, whoosh, that means you're not holding back. Because this is not the time to hold back, Ernie. If you put a team on their heels early, you can really shape the series. I'm telling you, that is big. So you want to just impose your style and your will right away. Whoops. That sound effect. Yeah. Whoops. 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 I mean, that's what you work hard all regular season for is to have the advantage of game one in your building. I'm with you there. I think you have to give the early nod in favor. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Right side, I'll tell it, Paul Mills. Then there's Hicks. Then it's Greg Monroe. And it's Irving at the point guard position. Now here's Dang. Outside Bosch. Fires the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. How about that? Just an easy way to get on the board. And just like that, Greg, the first lead belongs to them. A drive by Monroe. The shot is off. And the Heat going the other way now. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Left side, Bunch. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. All right, now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And so Bosch nails both of them. Here's Irving. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Here's lights out. Back to Monroe. Five on the clock. And the five on the closer. That's his first five. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. That was good. You can't give him that shot. A few open looks are all it takes to get him in the zone. Here is Lowry. It's 
to the paint. Here's Dang. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. And that one falls for Dane. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Here is Irving. Millsap is spring on left. Irving passes to Millsap. Good on the three-point shot. Millsap's got five. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. For Miami, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Lowry kicks to Bosch. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. And it's seven points for Chris Bosch. I love that stroke that you saw from Bosch right there. And a wide open hook for Irving. And a miss there on the triple. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Wade passes to the closer. Puts it up. And Irving comes to help. The closer. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. One shot. One shot. by eight. Harris outside. Swing by Monroe. That's the right side. On the wing, Irving. On the three off target. That's Miami's ball. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Bosch dishes to Wade. Now Dan to the left wing. Here's the closer. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Moving with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. He'll set the screen. Irving against Wade. Puts up a three. And that is good. Well, he leading by five. Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with head coach Lionel Holland. So, Doris, what'd you find out? We talked about the importance of stealing a game on the road, and coach said they want to come out and set the tone early in this game. He said, quote, if we can come out and take this first game, all of a sudden we're in control of the series. And thanks for that story, Doris. Dang gets a wide open look. Miami no good on that time either. Nets trail by five. Here's lights out. Have a screen on deck. Use that pick to get in close. Lights out's got his second bucket of the night. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Outside Lowry. Passes it to Bosch. Six on the shot clock. Shot is off. Good work defensively by Milsen. The Nets have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Harris picks to Milsen. All sorts of time. Cannot hit. Most of the time, that shot will go down. So the defenders have to make sure they tag. Rejected by Milsen. Now, here is Irving. 
Hurts still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. And Miami has possession after the basket by Brooklyn. Bosch will screen on Irving. Lowry has the open look. A three-pointer is right on target. Right there, we saw Bosch opened up space for the shooter. Well done. Irving passes to Millsap. Here's White's out. He's covered by Dan. On its way from Irving for two. Let's keep it alive. Count that one. Monroe's got his first points of the night. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they pay for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Now here is Lowry. Bosch, the screen. A three. A shot by Lowry, no good. On the way, Harris. Screened by Monroe. Irving is to Monroe. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted, and he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. For Miami, Whiteside's checked in for the closer. P.J. Tucker comes in for Chris Bosch. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Lou Aldang. And it's Jennings in for Kyle Lowry. And a new group in for the Nets. Booker, he's checked in for Millsap. Johnson comes in for Lights Out. Mills, he's checked in for Harris. And Curry subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Jennings with the bucket. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, You've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Nets trail by three to the paint. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Mills. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. Now, here's Whiteside. Now, Tucker. Here's Barnes. And Curry pulls it down. That's one he knows he should have played. Johnson with it. Launches it. Miami grabs the miss. Here's Barnes. Wade has the open look. And again, Miami with the triple. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. And Mills kicks to Booker. There's the double team from Whiteside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Good! Johnson's got his first bucket of the night. I like this composure there under pressure as he was being double teamed. Terrific pass. Jennings kicks to Barnes. Dishes at the top. Pass to Wade. Four on the clock. And the rejection by Monroe. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Mills has got the ball. The feed to Booker. Three-pointer. The shot will not go. The Heat go the other way with it. 
Now here's Jennings, and taken away by Johnson. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Here's Barnes, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was also safe for the jump. No reason not to be. Hey, guys, as he should be. Remove all doubt on that attack. No one to blame on that one but himself. When you get looks like that, you've got to take it back. A nice shot by Tucker. I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. So it's Brooklyn now. They trail by six. Johnson in the corner. Uncovered. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Miami's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. And that one's good. Barnes. They're getting on the roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. It's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Curry attacking. Here's Booker. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Well, he leading by five. And here's Jennings. Wade outside. Just five to shoot. The Heat need to get a shot off. Nobody near Barnes. Brooklyn with the rebound. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Right wing. Now Mills. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. 107 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Jennings. And it's Tucker atop the key. And the Heat. Another three. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this quarter. Wade passes to Jennings. Tucker dishes to Barnes. He kicks the Wade. To the inside. Right side. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. That's leadership. Really, really valuable to have someone who can just take charge like he has. Well, there's a certain amount of confidence you have when the ball is in his hands at that end of the floor right now. I mean, he just gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. Back to Mills. Swing by Monroe. Shot's good by Mills. Mills has got his first basket of the night. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. Here's Wayne. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Heat lead by six. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And now a 
chance to hear from Chris Bosh about what it meant to him to become an NBA player, the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. I was obsessed with the NBA as a kid and just like I would have died to get in that locker room, you know, so I always have a moment just sitting around and, you know, just not taking things for granted and really taking everything in and, you know, I couldn't have written the script any better. Thank you. What a great cut from Chris Bond. Just That's the kind of guy you can't help break the love for his attitude and ability to be you know, in touch with that kid he once was. I know you played the same way. Chris Bosh is living the dream like you did and loving it. That's a great point, Kevin. And I think most of the guys in the league feel that same way. I mean, they may not be able to say it or articulate it as smoothly as Chris does, sure. but, but inside every NBA player is a kid who's still thrilled to wear the uniform and play the game they love. We welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Miami. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Irving is out there with Harris. Then there's Lights Out. Then there's Johnson. And it's Millsap in at the five spot. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. We're not shooting their first free throw of the night. One shot. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Jennings with the ball. There's the pick. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. The dish to Bosch. Just four to shoot. It's rebounded by Paul Millsap. Millsap's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Harris with it. And Jennings picks him up defensively. Johnson outside. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Johnson's got five points now this quarter. Miami leading by three. Lowry kicks to Bosch. Jennings dishes to Lowry. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Now let's take this chance to break out the list of the NBA's top free throw shooting teams in the regular season. In third, the Nets. Well, I tell you what, Kevin, when you have numbers like this from the line, your coach is not only satisfied, but he's confident. Sure, there are some guys whose numbers help offset the weaker shooters, but overall, this has been a solid team from the line. Now here's Millsap. He has five. And it's Miami with the rebound. The closer's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Lowry for three. Miami no good on that time either. All the time in the world to get that one off. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Again, the miss by Johnson. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Nets trail by three. There's the pick. Irving drives in. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. Miami's on five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Outside Dan. Johnson against Jennings. Benning kicks to Bosch. He feeds it to Jennings. Outside Dan. Bosch heads the pick for Dane. Looking to end the drought. The shot is good off the backboard. Dane's got five points so far. Nets have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Harris passes to Millsap. 
on the wing. And it's Miami with the rebound. Lowry gets to Jennings. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Jennings has got his second bucket. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Now here's Johnson. He's got seven. That's good. Johnson's got seven points for the quarter. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Here's Lowry. It's Bosch with the drive, and there's the shot dunk to finish it off. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented. For <laughs> plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that wall. Yes, he did. I tell you what, the great dunk, and then this is even a better game we got going on right now. Irving kicks to Johnson. Johnson missing again. Miami leading by four. Here's Lowry. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Okay, gentlemen. Two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so Lowry nails both of them. Nets trail by six. Johnson outside, kicks to Millsap. Inside, here's Lights out. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had the foul and keep him from converting the easy button. Brooklyn shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. First one falls. Good on both. Miami leading by four. Lowry dishes to Jennings. Outside Bosch. Here's the screen. Feeds to Lowry. Shot clock at six. The tray. No good. Great tee that time from Irving. He hit a three in the first. But so far, he's been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. He was all alone on that one. Harris has got six in the quarter. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Lowry passes to Bosch. Good ball movement here by the Heat. There's the closer. Miami no good on that time either. Brooklyn's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his seventh assist in the game. Cannot be happy with how things have gone during this run. I think it's a good decision to take a break. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he had to do something. They're getting buffaloed and beat up. He couldn't let that continue. He had to call the time out there. And the Heat called time here. Wade, who's 
checked in for Brandon Jennings. Bahid have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Wade outside. Pass to Deck. He dishes it to Wade. Releases from 15. Can't get it to go. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Irving gets to Millsap. Shoots from 12. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one. They Here's Dang following the bucket by the Nets. Way to screen on Harris. Dang dishes the box. T. Wade on the wing. Shot to stop the run. Good, it's Bosch picking up the assist. Wade's got the game tied up here for Miami. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. You know, I think he just wants to tinker with the game plan a, a little bit. And I think that's a wise timeout. And part of it too, Greg, was he saw some things going on out there that he didn't care for. Whiteside's checked in for Miami. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Monroe's checked in. Here's lights out. Nine points in the game so far. Monroe, no good. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Wade kicks to Dang. A three. That's good. And now it's a three-point Miami lead. Boy, he's really doing a nice job taking advantage of what the defense is giving. Passes to lights out. Screen by Monroe. Here's Lights out. He's covered by Dang. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Outside Lowry. Dishes it to Whiteside. Outside Dang. Pass to Bosch. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Here's Irving. Plays it up and banks it in. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Bosch kicks to Dang. Back to Bosch. The feed to Lowry. Outside against Monroe. Outside, good. Here's Irving. There's the pass to lights out. Monroe with a screen on deck. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down to three on the bucket from lights out. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Now here is Lowry. He has five. Bosch high post. Back to Lowry. Let's it go with a three. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got his fifth rebound in this one. Harris passes to Millsap. And it's Miami with the rebound. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Dang, this is the Wade. On the top of the key, and it's Miami with another. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Pass to lights out. Pulls out the screen with this to Harris. Monroe with the screen on low. Pulls out, sets the pick for Harris. Pass to lights out. He tries for three, and it's Miami with the rebound. Ten's got his third rebound tonight. Lowry against Irving. Kicks to Whiteside. Outside Lowry. 
Here's Bosch. Greg Monroe with the rebound. And that's trail by five. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. And that is good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Lowry. He has five. Bosch, the screen. Right side kicks to Wade. Left side, Dan. The basket good off the assist from Wade. 11 points for Luol Dang. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. 109 left to play in the first half. Irving against Lowry. Irving attacking. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Irving's got six in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Whiteside. Outside Bosch. From eight. They get the rebound. Out to Wade. He feeds it to Lowry. From the arc. And there's Dang. That's good on the assist by Lowry. 14 points for the wall, Dang. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And here's Wade. He's got eight. Knocks it loose. Millsap with the steal. Terrific shot. Those Hail Mary buckets always take your breath away. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Heat up four. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin, I'm here with Coach Eric Spolstra. And Eric, you guys have seemed in complete command out here tonight. What's been the key so far? Well, I, I think uh, we've been able to get to our pace. We've been active defensively. Uh, so we just have to maintain our, our focus and, and keep trying to be in attack mode, both ends of the court. Eric, thank you so much. Kevin, back to you. Okay, Doris, much appreciated. And now for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Halfway through this round one matchup of the NBA playoffs, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq. For the Heat, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Well, they're playing some unselfish basketball here tonight, Ernie. Guys aren't trying to take the defense one on five. They're moving the basketball and finding the open man. And then, of course, the open man is finishing. So no problem here tonight. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? They haven't gotten to the line enough, and I think that's an area they can improve. They need to be more aggressive. Right now, they're hanging there, but this could change in the second half. They need to challenge defenders and try to control the momentum and get to the foul line a little bit more. That's going to do it for now as the second half is just about ready to get started. We'll see you later.